What's up, nerds? <laughs> I'm Wit. <laughs> I'm Doug. And we're the stream, stream team. team. <laughs> Today um, we are talking about, and I forgot what we're talking about again. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually going to take a stream online. We're so. taking a stream online, yeah. correct. Yeah. Um, this is episode six. Mm -hmm. um, please like, share, subscribe, because this is new, and we want to get the word out there as much as possible. Or we won't want to do this. Not anymore. just because she has work, but also so that people actually learn this stuff. Right. You know? I mean, there's a lot of people that are struggling to make this work, and especially now. Yeah, and we're going to take it to the next level today. So we're going to take whatever video we're switching and stream it, and we're actually going to, for real, do a YouTube live stream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually going to go live. So before we started, I've actually, we've actually already hooked up the camera to the switcher, right? and I've got the output of the switcher going to my video encoder, which is off camera, but I have a stand-in that we can at least look at here. Teradek. <laughs> yes. Teradek Video Pro. <laughs> it's the Pro. Yep. Okay. Um, so that, that's going to be our stand-in. We're not actually using that, but we're using something very similar. So the device we're actually using is basically the same. So the video from the switcher is going into its HDMI port. Mm -hmm. And then it's connected with Ethernet uh, to get out to the Internet. I should also mention, I don't think I've really covered this in previous episodes, a lot of these devices will actually let you do multiple connections at a time. So it has Ethernet, it has Wi-Fi, and then you can also plug in like these little cellular modems. So this is like a cell phone. And you plug that in there and that gives it Internet access. So, oh. And then it'll combine all the available signals from everything you've got plugged in and allow you to get a lot more data out to the internet so it's also in case one of them goes down so right okay so that's one of the benefits of, us cool. of using these versus some of the other yeah. options that are out there so uh, so this is the first place you need to go to after you after you've got all the switcher set mm -hmm. up and connected to your device yeah you'd log into the web interface for your internet streaming device and we'll, we'll cover a software based one briefly at the end here but yeah okay. so you log into your device and here it's showing a preview so right now we're just doing color bars um, but in order to configure it, well, we're going to eventually want to go over into settings. Before we can really do that, we have to make sure that our YouTube account or whatever else we're streaming to has, has actually been set up. So. Oh, right. Yeah. In order for YouTube's fun that way. Yes, it is. So <laughs> I should, we should also mention that YouTube doesn't let you stream by default. You have to actually turn streaming on for your account. And, and then you have to wait 24 hours exactly. for it to be activated. Yeah, so don't wait till the, the last minute to try and stream to a new YouTube channel. Like me. <laughs> he even warned me, and I still didn't do it in time. I was like, oh, well. And that's why some of her live streams are on my channel. Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's okay. But that's okay, yeah. You got more, I think you probably got more viewers out of it that way. So. Yeah, I, I definitely did. So. No one follows me on YouTube. <laughs> so we'll go to channel videos, and then we'll go up here to the create button. And then there is a <gasps> go live okay. option there. Okay. I've never actually done it. Yeah. Do you want to take control? It. Yeah, we should have you take control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so we'll walk you through it. We're mm -hmm. going to go up to create. And then we're going to say go live. Go live. But by default, it normally takes you to the webcam option, which we don't want. So we'll actually go and click stream instead. There we go. Because webcam only lets you use the webcam on your computer. Stream lets you, will you, let you use a device like this. So fill in a name. In this case, we're going to make it Nerd unlisted. Alert! Yeah, Nerd Alert and <laughs> unlisted. That was terrible. Uh, we don't need to schedule it for later. We're going to schedule it live now. But I would rec I very highly recommend actually scheduling these things ahead of, ahead of time. Um, yeah, to go live, mm -hmm. yeah, you definitely need to let people know. Right. Yeah, give them a chance, <laughs> give them a chance to actually be made aware That's of the stream, kind of right? So silly. Yeah, so you create it. Create it uh, days ahead of time and then that will give you a link that you can share with other people it also gives you a chance to do some testing before before you actually take it live because you can actually preview the streams before you actually say go live and make it public oh so to see if the connection see if everything's good. working yeah see if all your equipment's working and everything oh. so in this case we're not going to schedule for later but normally i would recommend doing that so okay and then we're not going to worry about a th thumbnail no it's not for kids and then create stream okay so the stream has been created, <laughs> but nothing's actually going out to the oh, internet okay. yet. So, <laughs> yeah, so that headline made me nervous. The create it's going. <laughs> yeah. So now at this point, YouTube is actually waiting for data from your encoder. Oh. But okay. 
the encoder doesn't know anything about the YouTube channel or anything like that. So um, we'll, we're, we're going to do this two different ways. We're going to do uh, the easier way, and then we're going to actually step through the more technical, but probably more common way that you would actually have to go through this. Okay. So now that we're, we've got the stream set up on YouTube, we're going to go back over it into the video interface. And then we'll go over to settings. And then we're in the YouTube live. And then we'll click on, click on channel videos here. So, it's probably the second one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in that, in that case, the device actually went out to YouTube and grabbed all the information that it needed to actually do the stream. So, it makes it really easy. Because you're logged in. Because I'm right? logged in, okay. yeah, yeah. So, before, before we started shooting the video here, I actually logged into my YouTube account. It's actually really easy to do. Um, but, yeah, it's logged in YouTube. And then, from here, you just choose which, which stream you want to use. And then, it automatically configures okay. all, all the connection settings. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, before we actually go live, though, we're going to need to check some of the settings down here at the bottom. So, we want to, uh, depending on your speed of your internet connection and some other things, we're going to want to choose some of these options. So, video quality. Let's go into there. Um, they want to. Well, if we want to do 1080p, we can choose that option there. Uh, although, I should mention that YouTube doesn't like more than four and a half megabits per second. This is defaulting to to nine. So we're oh, actually yeah, at risk great. of YouTube kind of yelling at us. It'll still accept it. <laughs> <laughs> but they kind of yell at you, like, you're giving me too much data, knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> so, but they don't take your, they don't take your stream down. Um, but <laughs> a lot of times you're, you're not going to have that much bandwidth. And so oh, okay. you might want to choose some kind of custom settings. So I, we'll actually do that. So down here, we'll go to custom. Yep. And then let's change the, vi the video bit rate here. So let's actually do five megabits. Yeah, there we go. So didn't you do seven last time? I did seven last time. Yeah, they yeah. still didn't like it. Yeah, they complained yeah. about it last time. Yeah, it wasn't seven. So that if was tweez. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so five is, a, five is decent. But you want, really want to make sure that your internet connection actually has that much bandwidth. Because you know, when you sign up for an internet connection, they will advertise your download speeds. But they often don't tell you what your upload speeds are. And they're never the, almost never the same. The mm. upload speeds are usually a lot, sl lot slower. So hmm. you want to do some tests. In this case, they actually have a button there you can hit in order to see how much available bandwidth you have. Okay. Um, but for 1080p, at least three megabits. Five is better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate numbers. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's five is better. So the yeah. higher the number, the higher the number, better. the higher the quality. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna your, your video is gonna look better. It's gonna have just higher, higher quality. So if, if you're gonna stream in 720p, which is actually the most common, most people are still streaming 720p at this point, and oh. that's usually like two megabit to like three and a half, maybe four megabits. So, and that's okay. that's fairly safe with most internet connections. Um, there's been a lot of times in the past that's what I've done. I've done a 720p stream, even though I'm shooting 10, 1080 or even 4K, just to make sure that I'm not sending more data than the connection can handle. Because at that point, you start getting drops and buffering, and people have a bad experience. Oh, and they, okay. they hate you and want you to die. So. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, you, this is another reason you want to do a lot of testing. You want to make sure that mm -hmm. whatever you choose here is going to be appropriate. It's also especially important to keep in mind that once. If you're shooting an event and you've got a lot of people at the event, there tends there a lot of them will can be on that same internet connection. So you're fighting other people yeah. for for the connection. So that's that's why it's good to have like that's the have like the cellular radio that you can pop pack under the side. Can you do the cellular radio, the Ethernet, and the Wi-Fi at the same time? Yeah, that's. Do you do that ever? I have done that for really important events. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like if if I absolutely have to have something go through. I'll that would make me that. feel better. Yeah. Okay. So you can do you can do that with these. Uh, that's not so much an option if you're using software, but that's one of the advantages of having a, a box like the this. Teradek. The pro. Or the go. Or the, or the go. okay. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. So anyway, so yeah, you want to test your bandwidth, make sure it's all gonna you're 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 gonna have enough bandwidth in order to get your video stream out. So with with all that uh, frame rate, um, whatever is appropriate. So I like full, which is basically 30 frames a second. Audio quality auto is fine. Resolution, we're doing 1080p. So in this case, we can just say ap apply. And settings were applied. So if we scroll back to the top of the, the screen and go up to my video. And then hit the, well, let's, let's do, do preview first. So you hit the preview, and then the, the device actually starts sending video up to YouTube at that, at that point. So, OK, now if we go back over to YouTube, we should see data starting to come in. 
Okay, there we go. Um, so the data start. You can see data start coming in, and there's the video that we're sending. So we're, we're still just sending color bars. Color bars. Okay. But we haven't actually gone live yet. So at this point, we we'll make sure that YouTube is actually getting data, um, that the connection is good. So if we click over here on the stream house, you can ba it'll basically tell you if it thinks everything is good. So yeah, so the stream is healthy. Uh, so we know we're good there. And stream health. <laughs> yes. That sounds so weird to me. It's like a video <laughs> game. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so, so with that, if once we're ready to go live, let's actually switch over to the camera. So we have some real video. Okay. So we'll do camera one, and then. And this is connected to yep. HDMI one. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this so camera is connected. Input one, one on the switcher. Okay. So if we go back over to video, we should be able to see that camera. There we go. There we go. And then eventually it'll show up on YouTube. Now, there, one thing to keep in mind: there's a pretty significant delay for each each one of these steps. It steps along the way, and so it requires a little bit of patience. And don't freak out if, like, you switch cameras or whatever, and you don't see it on YouTube for as much as a minute. You know, it could take a it, minute. It could take as much. It could take a, that long for it finally oh, shows okay. up there. So, I would freak out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at this point, the video still is not live, right? But once we're ready right. for it to finally go live. We would click this button. However, before we do that, we probably want to let people know about our stream, right? Oh, yes. So in that case, we'll come up to the little arrow button here. Share. Share. And then there's your, there's your oh. link that you can actually share with people. And that, they click on that, and they can actually watch the video. So. Cool. How would you do this before the live stream? Like way before, like a week or something? You just go through those steps that we initially did where you created the nerd alert. Okay. Um, you can come into this page, the same page, anytime, well before the event, and that will still be there. Like, oh, okay. Before, before you even start sending. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, cool. yeah. And they've also got other links here, so if you don't want to save up, share it on Twitter or whatever, they make it easy to do. So. Twitter. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so that's the easy way. Now, instead of, instead of actually taking this one live, we're going to do it the more involved way. And this is the more typical way that you would do it. So, this is the, the way you should do it. I wouldn't necessarily say, say, say should, but this is like, it lets you see a little bit more what's really going on behind the scenes instead of having the, the Teradek device do, mo do a lot of the work for you. It's not hard, but okay. if, you're work if you're dealing with a service that's not really supported automatically by one of these one of these devices then you'll need to know this other method so oh okay so it's called rtmp streaming and so we need to get the yeah real time multimedia protocol i th believe <laughs> okay. yeah so so if we come over to stream settings here you see down here uh there's a stream url and there's a stream key and it's in the case it's hidden uh, but but th but those are the two pieces of information that you need to put in the encoder. So let's oh. actually let's go back over to the video, and we're going to stop. We, oh. we, we don't want to encode any longer. All right. So then we're going to go scroll back up, and then we're going to do settings. And instead of choosing YouTube, we're going to choose RTMP. Okay. okay. So this is where we're going to copy and paste the information from YouTube. So we go oh, back okay. over here to YouTube Studio. So copy. So co we'll start with the stream URL. So copy, and come back over. Video, stream URL. That's the first one. So paste that in. Okay, and yeah. then the stream stream key. Copy that, and then paste that in. And then there's one more you can, stream. but it isn't necessarily required. So there's a backup. So this is a, a second server that YouTube has to accept video in case your connection with the first one ever gets interrupted. So you, you can oh. copy that one. It's not required, but it's nice to have. So you need to paste that in there. Okay. We got it. And then so then we want to scroll down and hit the apply button. Again, you have to still still have the same settings. Hit the apply button again. And now, if we scroll back up and go back to my video, and we can hit go live here. Oh, on here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit. That's actually misnamed. When you're in RTMP mode, oh. all that does is start sending video, or, uh, the data up to YouTube. It doesn't actually take the video live. So you're sending data now. Who you, named this? Yeah, I know. Seriously. So if we go back to YouTube. We should see that it's getting data. Yeah, there we go. It's getting data again. We have one viewer. 
That's us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, it's sending data, but it hasn't actually gone live yet. So the big go live button is still enabled. Okay. So at this point, if we're sure everything's good, we can go ahead and hit go live. Okay. There you go. Okay. So <laughs> nobody can watch it, but it's but it's live. <laughs> this is two viewers. Uh, I don't know who the second one is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is going to be boring. <laughs> but that's it. We're we're actually online and streaming now. But job this isn't necessarily done. So th during the course of the stream, you probably want to monitor this stream health. And so if anything, while you're streaming, while you're streaming, yeah, it's like if if you just find to find out that your internet connection has gone down or something like that, or, you know, whatever. So I mean, it's good. It's just good to keep an eye on it and make sure everything's going on because I mean, you know how unreliable technology is. <laughs> you know, if something can break, it will. <laughs> Especially if I'm doing it. <laughs> So when you're dealing with yeah. software, there's a little bit more involved, and we can cover some of that here. But, but yeah, that's that's really it. So I like it. That's actually way easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Like, way easier, especially since video has um, just copy the links. Right. Yeah, and that's that's the way most of these things are. Stuff. Yeah, like all. <laughs> That's not too hard, right? Um, I understand that. So concept. yeah, the videos and like all the other ones that are out there, like your Live View Solo and your AJA Hilo and like all these devices, that's how they work. So you paste in the stream URL, paste in the stream key, and that's kind of the bare minimum. That'll, that'll get you online. There's one piece of software we can just look at real quick. Um, it's called OBS. So uh, there we go, OBS. Okay, so uh, this is a piece of software that does the encoding. You have to somehow get video into your computer first, and that's where a capture device like an Elgato uh, stream link. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Don't so, ask me. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, so you need a capture device. Uh, most, a lot of them are like, it just has an HDMI input and then a USB output, and you just plug it into your USB port on your computer, and that'll get the video into the computer. And then you have a piece of software like OBS that will actually take that video from USB and encode it so you can so you can stream it. So we'll just cover the setting up the stream portion of it here. So if we go over to the settings button here on the lower right, so we'll go up to stream, the second menu option there, and then you've got different services you can choose from. In this case, this is YouTube, and then they already know the server, so you just pass paste in the stream key. But if you don't, if you're streaming to something else, you can actually, under service, you can choose that uh, the custom, which is basically your RTMP. So that's when you post in your server oh, okay. and your stream so key. Oh, okay. So the same, same basic it's, Yeah, it's the same information. It's the same okay. information. So, yeah, it's just you're doing it in a piece of software instead of the web interface for a device like this. So okay. Either, either way. Either yeah, way works. Either way works, yeah. It's a good idea when you're doing a live stream to have, like, a graphic that you put up before the scheduled oh, before, time yeah so you're actually so some people walking in will see something and not mm -hmm. just uh, this stream isn't live yet so like yeah 10 minutes before go live with a graphic and then and then at the scheduled time you just switch from the graphic over to your to cameras or yeah. whatever right like i say i'm guilty of this like if you just go live you don't exactly know for real when your video is actually live. Oh yeah, didn't that it's, happen last time? So a lot of times you're like, is it live? Is it live? Is it working? Oh yeah, like, we're live. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you look kind of stupid. So <laughs> so having the graphic. That's inevitable for me. But <laughs> <laughs> so next time is a Q&A live stream. You guys can uh, submit questions about all the episodes that have happened so far and test me, I guess, <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> The live streams are a lot of fun. If you haven't tuned yeah. in for one of those, those are those are the most probably the most fun videos we have on the channel. It's like yeah. very very interactive. People ask fun questions online, and you can see so. how dumb we are in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be edited. <laughs> see the unedited raw <laughs> Doug and Wit. So <laughs> yeah, that was episode four. If you want to see it. Yeah. So anyway, anything else? I, I think, think that's it. So yeah. Until next time. Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, see you next time, and uh, have a great day. <laughs>